any suggestions there? Okay, food will be later. So hopefully everybody stays for the food. And if you have to leave early, please grab your food and go. We have plenty. Okay, so so everybody, you know, just grab a chair and if you want to come around and then you know sit around the desk. Um, Oh. Yeah. So thanks, thanks everyone for coming. I'm uh, I'm Asam Rahman uh, Kamal. I'm a community activist here. I work for the city of Detroit, and uh, I am uh, I'm also a trustee for Wayne County Community College, uh, serving uh, last four years and a uh, few more years to go. And uh, I yeah I want to thank. Uh, uh, Bataev, he's from the cricket team, and Saeed and, and his friends for organizing this. It was uh, there is some uh, interest in the community that okay we are hearing, <clears throat> you know, one side of uh, the politics and this side of politics, this side of politics, and then you know there isn't a lot of effort to know the facts or you know finding out you know how things affect us, you know, and and. Some people are just looking at one issue and then saying, "Okay, this is this is my presidential election. This is how I'm going to vote." I mean, that's fine, you know. This be, depending on, there are like millions and millions of issues out there, but what affects us is, is important. What affects us personally, right? So, uh, you know, I'll have Thay uh, say a couple of words, and then we can, you know, I have some some topics that I want to cover for everybody to uh, uh, go through that, and then. You know, also we'll hear from him uh, maybe you know after we you know have some discussion. So you, you uh, hang around a little bit. So, so thank you, Kamal. Uh, good evening, everyone. Thank you for your time here. Uh, it's a short notice. We have requested everyone, but uh, so I think good members here. Uh, first, I'd like to say thanks, uh, Sunny Bay, to make it here. I know Sunny Bay. Last year, actually, when I invited you as a cricket board chairman. Oh, sorry. First, let me introduce myself first. <laughs> uh, some of you may not know, some of you may don't know me. My name is Taifur Rahman. Uh, I run cricket, uh, Michigan Cricket Association here. I'm the chairman here. And I'm actually very close with all the cricket players in Michigan. Uh, the, I know Sunny from last year when he came to our uh, one of our annual event. I actually invited uh, U.S. Cricket Board Chairman Mr. Venu Pisike. He's very close to him. So that's how I know him, and I knew that he's running for U.S. Uh, one State uh, University Governor position. Uh, this is where I met him. I was trying to know what is his vision, mission and vision for this position. I actually, personally, I'm not involved in any uh, mainstream politics. So I was trying to learn how he's going, his mission and vision for his uh, position, one State University uh, Governor position. So then I know, like, he came to U.S. for higher study, he went to Wayne State and he knows he went there, he got his graduation and then he post graduation master's degree from there. And then he, he got involved with business and other stuff. But I from his mission and vision, what I knew like he is the right person for like for our like diverse people who come to US to get into the university. He knows all those issues, what's going on with those students. So on this angle I feel like is the uh, right candidate who may know who is what our people needed for this university. Um, so that's why he wanted to meet a couple of our uh, community activists. He was not involved with some people. So now I actually invited all of the people here who actually mostly involved in our community. Some of our politicians, some of our uh, cricket players involved with sports, some of business uh, in the business, some of them socially activists with our you know, community. So he can, you know, uh, provide his mission and vision to you guys and see how you feel about his running and this campaign. So come on, by, you can uh, move forward. Okay. Here. So we'll hear from him, uh, you know, during the uh, event. So again, uh, this is not a uh, an endorsement meeting. You know, I, we have uh, here people, supporters from both both parties, uh, the Democrats and Republicans. Uh, yeah, you know, one way or the other. So this is to discuss issues that affects our community, and you know, based off of that, you know, you make your decision. And uh, I mean, I know, based off of my analysis, I know, you know, which candidate I'm going to vote. And you know, there is always, you know, advantage and disadvantage. Uh, you know, one candidate 
doesn't serve it all. You know, not I may have like ten issues that are important to me. Uh, maybe someone covers two of them. The other person might cover four, three or four. You know, th this is how it is determined. So Michigan is a suing state. The suing state. This is this is what suing state means. Like you know, we, it, it's swinging. Your your vote is out there, up for grabs, and uh, so. What I, I know that and a lot of people are, you know, this is primarily Bangladeshi, uh, American community, I mean, the uh, Yemeni community here too, largely, you know, the, the, the huge numbers. So Bangladeshi and Yemeni community makes up probably about, um, I want to say, 50 to 60 percent of this, more than 60 percent of this community. So that's why it, it does matter what happens in those countries, you know, because in our heart, we want to you know, do good for the community, our country, or, you know. Uh, so some, some of us are supporting Democrats, naturally, because, uh, you know, uh, immigrant community largely supports Democrats. You know, this is no secret. Uh, and then, you know, I also received calls and, and you know, people notice that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm talking policies and issues, not party. You know, my, I'm a registered Democrat myself. Uh, however, my politics is based on issue-based politics, like what's in it for me. You know, I, there may be a candidate that's running for, from Democratic Party. He may or, or he, he or she may or may not be good for my community. That's, that's the community that I need to, you know, support. Based on, you know, this is how we should be looking at. This should be our politics. We're, in comparison to the entire United States, we're minority, very, very minority. Minority within the minority. So we have to play our cards extremely carefully. So our community, Bangladeshi community, largely, uh, I would say we have professionals, we have businessmen, we have uh, entrepreneurs, we have real estate, we have uh, everything. But out of that, a large por proportion, uh, proportionally speaking, uh, manufacturing uh, you know, industry, they, they work in manufacturing. They do a lot of overtime. They do. They belong to unions. They belong to, uh, you know, uh, they are affected by the the trade wars that happens. You know, the, the layoffs and everything that happens. Uh, you know, this last few months ago there was a month long layoff, a strike, so that affected our community greatly. So, and the reason I'm saying that it affects our community in a in a, in a big way. Uh, and, and tax policy, if I talk about the tax policy, I'll, I'll show you a comparison, a little comparison how it affects the, uh, uh, the taxation, how it affects our community directly, okay? So the Kamala Harris's plan is, you know, of course, there will be tax cuts, there will be uh, increase of uh, your current income credit benefits will be $6,000. It, it's somewhere uh, around 3,800 in, in that range. Uh, the Donald Trump's plan is making it to five thousand dollars but there isn't there isn't a whole lot of difference but mo the reason i mentioned this eic credit affects our community greatly okay yemeni community Bangladeshi community any immigrant community they have children and if you have children and your income is within fifty three thousand zero to fifty three thousand dollars you're affected by it and then you know depending on how many children you have and all that you get most of the benefit so that's that's almost almost like a wash you know one thousand dollars yes if you have five children, that's $5,000, you know, go do your math. Uh, if you are doing overtime, overtime is taxed with, with Kamala Harris's plan 100% as it stands right now. So in other words, if you do uh, $500 worth of overtime, you know, you get, you get $500 on top of your regular check, you, you get taxed on that for, for your uh, regular income tax, that's about 10%, and then you get, uh, Seven and a half percent social security tax on that. So the ten plus seven and a half, that's seventeen percent tax on the five hundred dollars. So you are not getting that money. Under Trump's plan, that overtime pay will be eliminated. So that's seventeen dollars for every hundred dollars you are paying. Seventeen to twenty dollars, depending on you know which tax bracket tax bracket you are in. So that's hundred dollars. That's almost like uh, you know five seventeen eighty five dollars ninety dollars extra disposable income. So disposable income is something that goes in your pocket, you can spend on your own, that's disposable income. So that will be affecting our community in a significant way. That's something that we have to keep it in mind. And also, social security, TIPS, 
we have Uber drivers, right? You know, we have Uber, we have restaurant workers, we have people that get tips. Tips will be eliminated. eliminated. The tax will be eliminated on that tips. Okay, so if you're a waiter, right now you're paying 41.37. That that tax, that form you have to file to pay taxes on your uh, tips. You are not, you don't have to pay that. That will be eliminated. Also, the uh, the, the tax under Trump. Under Trump. Under Trump's plan. Also, to Kamala's credit, she also she's also looking into eliminating tips uh, income. And uh, yeah. So, so in other words, uh, social security benefits. So if, if somebody retired today and then their social security benefit is, is above the threshold of, of taxation, there is like a minimum amount and if you have other income and you combine all that, and there is a percentage that will fall into the taxation uh, tax plan. So fixed, social security income is a fixed income. You know, it doesn't go up by, you know, like if you're doing overtime or something, so it's fixed and it's being taxed. Depending on, again, you know, don't get me wrong, not every social security income is taxed, but depending on your, you know, threshold. So you do that, under Trump's plan, social security income will be tax free. Now that's significant, the reason I'm mentioning this is these are small things that we, we tend to overlook. We should, we should look into what's affecting me and my pocket first. Right? I don't care who says, you know, I, 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 I want to die for my country or I want to, you know, support my country. It affects your pocket. And you were saying you support your country, you are lying. Because the first reason you are here in this country is to support yourself and your family. Okay, you are not here to support your country. And if you are saying that I am here to support my country, you are not telling the truth. You are not telling the truth. You are not speaking the truth. So that's, you know, I, th I think it's, it's important. Also, Trump's plan would be tax large private university endowment. So in other words, if uh, Yale University, they have billions of dollars in investment. They endowment, you know, tax-free investment right now. And they invest in, in many places. And then they also use that money for political influence. You know, the, one of the biggest influencer, political influencer are the unions, uh, the doctors, engineers, and uh, universities. University is, is one of the biggest because they got billions of dollars. So those will be taxed for private universities that, that are investing money into, you know, again, there is criteria you'll have to mean, you know, meet. Not everything is going to be taxed. So that's going to be taxed. Uh, under Kamala Harris's plan, so you, you, you fall in the tax bracket of, uh, you know, it, it's a large sum uh, if you're a big investor and you, you own a company or you, you have uh, you know, business, export, import business. You have investment into, you buy a house, investment house. And right now you pay taxes when you sell the house, you pay the difference after you take out your all these expenses and everything, you pay a difference, the taxes on the difference. When you sell it, under Kamala Harris's plan, unrealized gains will be taxed. What does that mean? Many people don't know that. So you have a house or building. Let's say it goes up, uh, today you buy it for a million dollars. Next year it goes up by two million dollars. So it's three million dollars. Uh, that extra two million dollars, you didn't sell that building yet. That extra two million dollars unrealized gain. In other words, you know, this is the market price. Under Kamala Harris's plan, you'll be paying taxes on that two million dollars. Uh, now, how many of you would like to pay taxes on something that you don't even? Okay. So, if you if you look into this, uh, you know, taxation plan, because tax is something that you know this is why America was built, right? You know, because of over taxation, and then we all know Boston Tea Party. You know, the the tea tax was so high that they had to dump all the tea, imported tea into the Boston Harbor. So we all know that because the tax gave uh, a reason for the American revolutionaries to rise up against the British government. And that's how you know America was uh, built, against taxation. So some of the, the reduction of uh, income tax, the, the reliance on uh, income tax, under Trump's plan would be imposed 60% tariffs on Chinese goods. Now, if you are buying something from uh, Timo or something, it'll go up by you know 60% tariffs, so you'll, you know, you'll be paying a little bit more. 
it still is cheaper, going to be cheaper to buy it. But it'll, it won't be like $2, you know, you're not going to buy a, uh, a 4K camera anymore. You know, it probably will be like $12. Uh, also, any imports from other countries, 10 to 20% will be taxed. So in other words, you're buying from something from Canada or Mexico or even Bangladesh or India, unless you do fall under the MF uh, most favorite nation, you know, the trade and tariffs, there is like they have agreements with, uh, can you take a guess which country might have the most favorite this one? deals? China. I don't know, but uh, no, <laughs> not most favorite. Most favorite nation is like, literally they can sell anything and without a question, you know, almost like, you know, uh, it will probably be Israel and, and United Kingdom, I think they're the biggest. Canada used to be, but you know, Canada, Donald Trump has some issues with Canadians taking advantage, uh, but that's, so if you fall under uh, M MFN, then, you know, tariff might be, you know, considered, reconsidered, because what's going to happen tariff when you tariff somebody 10%, guess what's going to happen to American goods? They will put tariffs on it. So American export will be affected by this too. So you know, don't think that it's it's going to be. It'll be. It, it's a two-way thing. But this is when your power comes into play. How much power you exert into, uh, and this is when you need a strong president that can exert power, not sitting down or you know like uh, you know. So I think it's it, you can. It's pretty easy to figure out who could be more assertive uh, and and not. So. But there are some, also uh, Kamala Harris's plan, if you have a property right now, uh, a business property, and you want to sell it, and say you get $500,000 profit, you have to pay taxes on this. Now there is a way, 1031 exchange, those real estate people will know, you don't have to pay a dime in taxes. As long as you put this money in a trust or you do not take the money out. You put it in escrow, yep, and then you buy a bigger property, equal value or more. Now, if you make $500,000 and you only invest $400,000, you are paying taxes on that $100,000 only. So it's a literal, literal transfer, right? You know, uh, you're taking it from here, you're not taking profit out, you are, it's like 401k transfer. You know, you, you leave your job, you, you transfer your 401k rollover to another 401k, you know. So Kamala Harris will be taxing it after anything above five hundred thousand dollars. So you know it affects the big investors, obviously. You know if you have a house, five hundred thousand dollars is nothing, right? You know you buy a house in Hamtramck, you buy a house for two hundred thousand dollars three years ago. It's it's guaranteed to be five hundred thousand now. You know people will line up. You don't even have to put a sign up there to sell a house in Hamtramck. That's how I demand. So this is going to affect whom? Ordinary people, investors. Uh, so some, some of these things to uh, pay attention to. And then for me, the secondary issues would be international politics, okay? Because I can do nothing about it. You can do nothing about it. International politics is secondary, okay? How it's going to affect my country, Bangladesh, compared to this, and then, you know, Bangladesh. Can we do anything in Bangladesh? Nothing. I'm not saying to ignore Bangladesh is concern. But Bangladesh leaders will have to figure out how to deal with the new government because you know that's not how we vote here. We vote based on what affects us. This is how we get involved with mainstream politics, not based on serving somebody else's demand and then go up and show up, you know, go out there and you know show up and uh, you know hold the sign up, not knowing what that person represents. How many of you would like your children to read something in in the library? This this is a school, by the way. This was a hospital before. This is a school. And you have no control over that material. Would any of you send your children to a school that they're teaching something? That's that's something that, in a, as a parent, you know, I'd be really concerned what my children are learning. Those are very disturbing stuff. And, um, you know, you speak up, you, you get into trouble. You know, I spoke up in, in Hamtramck, and I'm, I'm still, you know, every time I, I, I run for something, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a group of people who will focus on things that you said or did, but that doesn't mean that I'm abandoning my children or your children. If I have, um, you know, I'm, I, I mentioned before, you know, I'm involved with 
uh, Community College, Wayne County Community College. I'm also board president for uh, Frontier International Academy. It's a high school. Uh, we closely monitor what's being taught in the classroom because family value is something that we can't ignore. Okay, who is coming and who is uh, interacting with my children is extremely important to me because when they come home, you know, I want to know what, what are they learning. If they're, if they're learning something and I have no control over that, it's a problem. We immigrants, we, we, uh, we tend to be more conservative, you know, family. Now, family value is important to us. So those are the things that I think we should focus uh, when we select our candidate. You know, whether you're Democrat, Republican, it doesn't matter. Your values should reflect in your candidate that you are supporting. So, <clears throat> I just, like, I just, it matters who you choose. It does. Both parties nope. doesn't have the same, so, the same values. So when you say it doesn't matter what you choose, it matters. So to, because to one me, party is destroying the moral morality yes. already. So, so I will. Um, so now, so I just wanted to cover this basics, basics of of this politics. This is not all of it. You know, you want to learn about uh, Donald Trump. You want to learn about Kamala Harris, their plan. Uh, it's, it's very important. If you are not concerned about how it affects you and you want to go and vote, I really feel sorry for you. You, 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 yeah. you know, the voting in this country, especially for us immigrants uh, and minorities, did not come easy. <clears throat> when the uh, even even uh, females could not vote, right? Not too long ago, and they just got the uh, the voting right. When uh, this country. Um, allowed black people to vote, right, black community. They were asked to pay a $5 registration fee. Now whites were not allowed to do that, you know, asked to do that. And they had to pass a test that they are knowledgeable enough to vote. This is America, people. You know, this is, this is, this is, demo this is the democracy that we, we are in. And for their voting rights, people had to die. You know, we didn't, we didn't have us, you know, from Bangladesh, we didn't have like uh, German Shepherd dogs being laid on us, you know, chasing us because we are fighting for our vote. No, somebody else died for it already. You know, it came at a cost. And we have to remember, you know, uh, our, our rights, how it came about and what we are benefiting. If we don't know our history, what we are doing now, right now, when we go to use a restroom, there is no sign says Bangladesh is only or foreigners only, right? But the black people had a sign, colored people. And if you did go to a white people's restroom, you would go to jail. Everybody knows about Rosa Parks. Right? She sat in the white people's. She had to, uh, she was asked to give up that seat. And she went to jail for that. And that led to the you know, civil rights movement of the 1960s. And you know, uh, that was in, I think it was in the 50s. But that gave the, the rights to these. So this is a small part of what, what politics is. I, I just wanted to focus, I think these issues that I, I studied and it affects our community, our you know, income of our community, you know, if you put all these income together and I know we're talking about remittance in Bangladesh and all that, more money in your pocket is more money for Bangladesh. If you really want to help Bangladesh, pay attention to taxation. Okay, thank you. Um, and I want to introduce you to um, uh, someone who is running for uh, Wayne State Governor, uh, Sonny Reddy, Mr. Sonny Reddy. He's a business professional. I'll let him introduce himself. Um, he also, you know, wanted to see the community and then, you know, I think somebody that understands our community and knows our community and then, uh, you know, we have more commonality between us. And uh, he also understands that there is a large Bangladeshi uh, student base that goes to both Wayne County Community College and Wayne State University. Now, I have seen Wayne State University grow from a uh, you know, much smaller school to a pretty much, they stabilized the entire, uh, uh, the, the Wayne State University, a cultural center area. That used to be all drug ridden in part of it. They did a great job and then, you know, and I'm sure that our community, our students played a role also in you know, Indian Bangladeshi community students. So uh, here, uh, let's let's hear from you and thank what your plans are and how can you help out. Thank you, thank you, Kamalji. First of all, I want to congratulate you. It's a great work you did. I can't believe it. So detailed, so detailed. Um, you did a lot of work. I'm sure a lot of research went into it. And also, 
I want to let you know I work for City of Detroit too. When I was a student, I, uh, I did my master's in chemical engineering. So my job was to collect the samples in the Jefferson plant, water treatment plant, and take it to the lab every day. So uh, Wayne State had a project. Oh. So I was working for the uh, uh, chairman of uh, chemical engineering department. Ah. So I, I did work. So there is a little similarity. Yes. Yeah. So again, my name is Sunny Reddy. Um, I came to United States 1990, January, as a F1 student. Um, I'm not sure whether you guys are familiar with F1. It's a student visa. Student visa. So when I was a 20 year old kid, so went to Wayne State, struggled a lot. It's, it was not easy. Being a foreign student, no matter how long you live, you have to pay the out of state fee. That's one thing. You're not eligible for loans. That's the second thing. So the, the, the good thing was we were eligible to get um, credit cards. So my thinking was if I pay this semester, then I need to be ready. Oh, you know what? How can I get the money for the next semester? Because if I don't, if I don't register, I'll be kicked out. I need to maintain the status. So it was not an easy time. And recently I went to Wayne State. When I looked at it, I talked to, I talked to, in fact, actually Bangladeshi, a couple of uh, other students too. I was asking him, what is the biggest issue today? Even today is the affordability is the number one issue. Okay. The number two, they told me was a guidance. When they graduate, nobody was. Nobody is there to guide them, maybe provide them an internship, maybe provide them a mentorship. So where they can get the job, how they can get it. I mean, school is totally different than the, the, the real-time jobs outside. So that's the two issues. Apart from that, apart from that, I agree with you on the schools. We don't know what they're teaching. We, we have certain things. Our culture is different. OK? So I call myself as a, uh, as a pissed off dad. When my daughter went to college, and I didn't like the way it turned out. So every parent's concern is that. So that's one thing I want to make sure that, that, you know what, these schools and the university, especially Wayne State University, teaches what they require for tomorrow's job, not the nonsense what's going on in some of the colleges. So I want to make sure these kids teaches. And the, the, the other one, the most important one is affirmative action. How many, how many, I'm not sure how many of you guys heard about it. You know, this country, as a, the admissions are not based on the merit. It based on the color, it based on the race, uh, where you born to. So there is a quota system in the admission process. We all comes under an Asian quota. China, India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, everything is a, comes under quota. Our kids are the most disadvantaged with that one. So two years back, Supreme Court ruled out. They said, you cannot discriminate the kids based on the merit. But at the same time, the colleges, in the name of diversity, they want to Somehow they want to differentiate, they want to do something. And I want to make sure that, you know what, these kids treated properly, not discriminated, the merit-based kids. So that's one thing. The other thing is, uh, as I said again, affordability is my main goal. I want to make sure that it's good. Because i gone through it, I suffered it. I know how difficult it is for families to pay for it. And especially our community, whether you take it Indian, Bangladesh, Pakistan, all these communities, Education is number one priority for us. We don't care. We even sell the house to send the kids to this college. We don't care. That's how we are. And I want to make sure that, you know what? We don't have to do that. The schools are affordable. So there are many ways we can do it. I can see it. I, I, I have a several businesses, successful businesses. I know how to cut the cost without compromising the quality. We all know, actually, we are, we are actually better than more people. So we can do that. And at the same time, I graduated 30 years ago. Nobody, even today, I'm an alumnus for 30 years. Nobody contacted me as an alumnus. I want to explore. I want to bring the alumnus back. They can bring their wealth. They can bring their experience. They can be a mentor to the students. There are many ways they can help. And I want to approach. I want to go back to each and every alumnus and bring them back. Make them partners in working with this. Wayne State is a very important, you know what, you're right, Wayne State changed a lot actually from 1990 to now. Um, there are a couple of buildings, um, I used to live in Forest Apartment, it's no longer there, it's parking lot right now. There used to be another building called Dirai, it's no longer there. But you know what, in those places there are many buildings came out and uh, we used to be scared to even cross one block. Where's your relatives live in uh, Dirai? 
Yeah, oh, is that right? Is that right? Yeah, I, I used to have a lot of friends. A lot of friends. They used to say, if you go on an uh, elevator, each floor we used to get a curry smell. Different curry smell. <laughs> so you can imagine how many people used to live in that apartment. So it used to be different. And um, uh, city, I mean, Wayne State changed a lot, mostly for good. But I want to make sure that, that these kids um, are safe, especially it's being in the campus. So I want to make sure that our kids are safe. We are worried about it. I have a 23 year old daughter. I mean, every time she calls, my wife is worried about it. You know what, are you okay? First thing we look at is, are you okay? Is everything is okay? So I want to make sure that, that these kids are safe, these kids being treated properly, and then make the school affordable. That's my goals. And I want to make sure, this is a, uh, again, this is a, this is a voluntary position. I'm sure you are you are doing the volunteer yes. work too. It's it's, a, it's not paid. Uh, okay. It's not paid. It's a, it's a, it's a, my own interest. I want to go back and help because that's where I started my life in Maine State. I want to go back and help, and that's why I'm running. So I need your support, and let's make it happen. So only Wayne County. No, can. it's a statewide. Statewide. You know, I forgot to tell you this. A lot of people get confused. This is a statewide. No matter where you live in Michigan, you can vote for it. So that's very important and also remember, we are all paying for it. Whether our kids are going to the college or not, all these public universities, we are paying for it. It's a taxpayer money. So you belong to any party? I belong to, um, I'm running as a Republican, but I'm running for our kids. So um, anybody, I, 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 I advise you to look at it as Kamal said, look at the candidate. See what they can do for us. So that's my request. Thank you. So Thank remember, uh, remember, uh, Sunny Reddy. Sunny, Sunny Reddy. Yeah. So anybody have any question or any? Yeah. So uh, anybody want to say anything? Add add to this. I know you know mm -hmm. all of you <laughs> are you know this is this is really good to see the young people gathering. Right. Okay. Yeah. Usually our political gathering is not like this, right? You know the picture is different, isn't it? <laughs> my son even came down. Why well, I forced <laughs> him to come with me? Uh, but you know, I wanted somebody to uh, you know man the, uh, help me out, and uh, so I want to thank him for coming. Uh, he goes to uh, Eastern Michigan University, uh, the aviation program. That's what he's studying. So if anybody wants to add something to this, um, I'm sure you know your your inputs are important. So you know, might as well uh, you know just just say a few words. This is the small group, Sunny Bay. I just involved because yeah. all of the people are involved with our community. I think uh, let me let me introduce them a little bit. You know, come over. So he, he said he voted for me. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I have to <laughs> oh, I did. Okay, good. I showed you the video. <laughs> he said he voted for me. Wow. He actually ran for uh, Warren City Council, so he's pretty known in uh, mm -hmm. our community. Uh, Pelalbai is one of the very old businessmen in uh, Conan Street. Okay. Yeah. Quick send, I think, one of the old money exchange you know, uh, store in Hamtramck. Uh, in sure. Most of the people know him. Okay. Uh, Harun Bhai, I think I'm the first time, sorry, Harun Bhai, I'll, I'll talk to you in some Well, just want to let yeah. you know, Harun, Harun used to work for me in 1990s. Uh, oh. Harun is my, I, I've seen him so, after so long, I can't believe it, we, were, we both are here. I haven't seen him, what, 20 years? More yeah. than 20 years? 20 years. Wow. Sorry, Harun Bhai, I think now we all know you. Right? Yeah. <laughs> can't hide anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. Uh, answer why he's sitting right here. I'm going later, he's a bit shocked. Sayyid. Sayyid and me, we are both involved in cricket. Uh -huh. He's also an uh, uh, USA under-19 coordinator for Midwest side. All right. USA under cricket board. You know, I, I sponsored last year Midwest uh, yeah. cricket, actually. Oh. Yeah, he's sponsored for you. <laughs> he was the coach for last season. Too. Yeah. This, uh, from this season, he's coach. He's a uh, uh, coordinator for under-19 Midwest and also his level three coach under Oh, wow. So I'll keep seeing you. I'll be, I'll, be coming back. I'll be coming back to the cricket. He's been working a lot with cricket. Okay. Fahim Fine. and uh, Sami. Sami. Both of them play for my team, but they are also very known cricketer in, in the area. So, Man Shagato. If you can, you can find him in anywhere in business, Bengali community, Bengali. Mela, Go Politics, anywhere, <laughs> right, right. education. Right. So he's one of the most, uh, most uh, yep, mainstream guys, you know, he's everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I was a uh, president of student organization in Wayne State. Yeah. I'm a Wayne State. In Wayne State, is that right? Oh, wow. So oh. Yeah, he's everywhere. Wow. And Dalwaran sir, he's like, um, he's with 
everybody in Michigan. He has a you know, Facebook page. He has more about 15,000 people over there. Wow. So yeah, he is very influential. He's also yeah. he's also with the youth. Uh, he's, he's actually he has, he has youth academy or club, right? You do like uh, youth soccer, youth badminton, a lot of youth activities, and especially he's a good uh, social activist for Bangladesh community. Yes, yes. thank you, sir. <laughs> so yeah. Anybody has uh, yeah, you know, yeah, a question? Yeah, I got one question. So what, if, what's your candidate, like other candidates in the same position? How, how are you different than others? So um, as far as I know, um, two candidates, they are running again. Mm -hmm. uh, Mark Gaffney is a Democrat. He is a AFL-CIO union member. So and then uh, Rasha Damensky is a, she's a pharmacist, I believe. Um, and then uh, uh, Republican side, Dr. Um, Michael Basvido is a doctor. So if you look at today's um, board, probably I will be the only person with a full-time business experience. Uh, none of them have a businesses, at least what I saw, what the biography when you see. Mm -hmm. So two openings right now. And uh, um, mainly between the two Republicans and two Democrats, but there are also other candidates running. How many openings? Two openings. Two. Openings. How many it's total governors? and the board. What is it? How many total? Eight board, board of governors. Okay. Every two years, every two years, two openings. Two openings. It's an eight-year position. Okay. Every two years, two openings. All this uh, in state, Michigan State, and uh, University of Michigan. These three universities board is elected by people. So same exact structure, two openings for elections. Question? I just want to say something about it. Like sure. uh, I know recently when state did that all Detroit residents can go for free, right? Without any tuition fees. I would say like if you could do it for whole Michigan, I mean, that would be great. I know there are a lot of people, they really want to study, but because of the tuition fees and stuff, you know, they're, they're scared to go college and stuff, you know, as, right, you, right. as much as you can help them, that will be great. Trust me, trust me, I came through, I, I came through that road. Yeah. I know, I know how difficult it is to yeah. go to college. Right. And within the power, where I can influence, right, right. wherever I can influence, definitely. It's a taxpayer university, right. and uh, definitely the money, obviously the money has to come from somewhere. Right. Uh, so mm -hmm. definitely, whatever, whatever I could do. Within I think, I think right now you can do up to uh, associate's degree for free. Right. Uh, it's, 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 yeah. You know, you still have to go through some qualifiers. Oh, right, right, yeah. But uh, community college, that's that's, 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 yeah. a, that's a good yeah. Community college will, uh, like, you know, when it comes to community college, we have certification programs. Mm -hmm. um, so what it is, is if you want to become an electrician, and if somebody comes here with some, uh, if you have interest in electricity, or if you had some ex experience. <coughs> so this is a graduated staggered certification program, so you get the uh, two months, eight weeks course, uh, and then, you know, you add to your certification, so you become a full electrician. So you can start working with your certification. You know, a lot of people will be places will be hiring. So we have this. Uh, we have we have dentistry. Right. We have uh, police academy. The police uh, Northwest campus. Mm -hmm. uh, we have really good uh, police academy, brand new. Uh, usually trains the uh, the Detroit uh, police. The table uh, other right? stuff. On the Taylor campus? Um, the, the Northwest the campus North. on Outer Drive. Oh, Outer Drive. And uh, Connor. off of, of Connor. South, Connor. Southfield and, yeah, yeah, Connor. Uh, and then other certification programs like sewing. Sewing also, you know, the training. I'm trying to bring the, bring this to Frontier Academy, uh, you know, so you know, as a, like a nightly shift. So I'm, I'm working towards it, so we'll be offering some classes here. Uh, so not just the uh, sewing, but, you know, actual classes to be offered here so that people can walk, uh, walk over. Because you'll be amazed. How many people can't go to downtown to take a class, you know, because of uh, transportation? So this is something that I'm, I'm working uh, for that. Too. I'm run, not running for office, but I'm just, just letting <laughs> you know that. Um, and then, you know, other certification programs. Uh, many, many, I mean, so many. I think we have about uh, uh, over 200 certifications out there. So, you know, you can contact me, you know, if you have somebody interested. If you are, uh, you know, if you can't pay, you know, uh, something that we can work out, uh, you know, uh, see if we can find a sponsor for for the students that, uh, you know, I mean, they, sometimes there could be rich people, uh, you know, they, they might sponsor, you know, some students, you know, out, out of their good heart, yeah. you know. 
So those are available, you know, yeah, especially our community, the Bangladeshi community or the, you know, Hamtramck community, it's right, you know, downtown is only five miles. You can, you can take Woodward bus and then go and take those certification courses. These are really good. Uh, and one example I'll give you, and then uh, I know that everybody's getting tired, we have school tomorrow. The welding program, you know, the welding, uh, so we have students for welding program that just enrolled, you know, learned about basic welding. The international bridge that's being built and Chrysler Corporation, they hired them with over $20, $30 an hour just because they know how to weld, you know, and they're not done with their certification. So just letting you know that money is out there, just a little skills can go a long way. And you don't have to know welding before, you know, they're gonna teach you. So, you know, instead of working, uh, you know, our jobs, I'm sure, you know, something, this will be like a skilled labor. So skilled labor in America, especially with these tariffs and everything, if jobs come back here, with these skilled laborers would be extremely, extremely important no, next no uh, many, many years. So if any, any questions? If no question, I wanna thank all of you for coming. And I think one thing we should do, I, I'm, I'm really happy to see all these young people that came down here, you know, after Monday, Sunday night. Uh, we should continue with this discussion. Not because of this election, but I think our, it's important for us to get our head into the mainstream politics. And mainstream politics doesn't mean bring a politician and then hear them. Okay, mainstream politics, you do politics. Politicians should seek you out, not you seeking politicians out. That's the wrong way of doing politics. And I think we're doing it wrong so far. And some people may, may have good ideas, but politicians, if you are doing it right, they will seek you, just like the skilled labor. They will come and look for skilled labor. Skilled laborers, you know, uh, if, if, they, if there is a demand, they will come and seek you. If you are just a voter, if you are just voting, nobody cares after election. That's right. That's right. Okay? This is very important for us to mention. You know, no. So whether you are Democrat or Republican doesn't matter because issues affects us, whether you are a Republican or Democrat. So I think you know, hopefully, you know, uh, all of you, you are all in leadership positions, and I know you do great for the community. You know, very influential. This is a very influential group that we have. Uh, hopefully, we can come back for discussions, and then you know, we can meet at you know places. I know you all have uh, plans. So, go ahead. <laughs> First of all, I uh, thank you. And for the side of the also for the organizing team, organizing a nice uh, event, especially you know, we don't see that much young people you know coming here. I, I am surprised seeing Fahim here. Uh, I don't see him that much you know in this kind of event. So I want to thank you all for organizing this thing. And you made me is a community event, and that's why I'm here. And I just want to let all of you guys know I'm I'm uh, not a politician, but I'm kind of really big involved in politics. And I'm a Democrat. Uh, in this uh, election, we know that you know we, uh, if I'm a Democrat, you know, most of the Democratic uh, people are confused, to be honest. Especially uh, you know we are not happy what happened in the last five years. So, but uh, as an immigrant, we all know that most of the immigrant we, we supported Democrat in long time. And now we are not happy because of the things happened last five years. I'm personally, I, I am confused. I'm being honest. I told my, you know, uh, all of those things, you know, I, I supported all the local candidates, Democratic candidates, and you know, last, last week probably, you know, most of you guys saw that, you know, um, I was the one of the uh, host of the uh, event that was uh, hosted in, in Warren. Uh, all of the, the congressmen, senator, where they are local, uh, local candidate right here. So, and again, you know, in politics, it will be a different uh, thought and different way of thinking, different, you know, I think that's why we, we but the beauty of the politics, I believe in USA, that, you know, we all can sit together, we still here, you know, talking, and I'm listening, I'm learning, I learned a few of those things, you know, you pointed out, you, you did a good research, come on, by. trust me, you know, you did a good research, uh, and, and a few points, you, you come up with that. That's, uh, you know, probably most of us, we, we don't even know that sometimes, some of those information, it is needed, uh, you know, before you deciding uh, who you should vote, so those information can help, uh, you know, uh, people especially, so they can decide uh, and vote for the right person. And thank you all. Thanks a lot. Okay. Yeah, today, when I moved from Friday to this, uh, because Ansar Bhai, you know, uh, suggested that we, you know, um, we bring in as a community uh, together, you know, so that was, um, 
you know, we had long discussion. So thank thing. you for coming. Yeah. Add something. Yes. You mentioned earlier, right? So we have uh, we don't know what's being teach about yeah. in our school, right? Yeah. So going back on this, if I'm a Muslim and if I focus on my religious obligations and choose the party that that align with my uh, uh, obligations, we wouldn't be talking about this nonsense that being taught in this school. So like he's mentioned, most of us immigrant come here not knowing what the values the party, party believes in. For instance, the Democratic Party, the values they believe in, they go directly against my, my religious belief. Not only that, if, if they're Muslim, I, 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 I disobey one, one word of the Quran, my beliefs from the Islamists goes away. So not only that, we're supporting a party, some of us were supporting a party, not knowing what our religious obligation is. At the same time, we're supporting a candidate party that's, that believes in the values that directly contra contradictory to the Quran. So now, if we, if, we are, if, if we know our obligations are, then we can choose the candidate informally, and then we're not going to have those nonsense like gender affirming care, a, 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 a abortion, all this nonsense. They, 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 this party destroyed the morality of the people throughout America. So that's all I have. Well, that's very important. I mean, religious, uh, we, you know, we should have abandoned religion, but what he was uh, pointing out was, uh, you know, if you have a child go, goes to school, they can't vote at five, right? At five, they have to wait till uh, 18. Now that child, if that child says that he, you know, assuming he's a boy, and he says he's a girl, he feels like he needs to dress up and everything. The, the liberal system allows the school, and that's why I said, you know, what's being taught is extremely important. They will start the, uh, the counseling for that boy to become like whatever they feel. You know, at, at that age, the kids will dress up you know, any any way they like. You know, this is they they their mind is still still growing, so they will start treatment, and then uh, they will also the uh, they can start giving uh, the medication that will change the hormone. Hormone blocker. Yeah, and then uh, the t the and they are not obligated to let the parents know. Now this is really serious. Some issues. states they take the kids okay. away from the parents. So somebody wrong. protested, and he went to jail. I, I forgot which, which uh, state that was. Now, if so, it, bottom line is it's extremely important. Not just election time, but if you have children going to school, any parent should be involved with school. Just sending them to school doesn't mean that they're learning everything that you want them to learn. That's why parent-teacher conference is important. You know, going and looking at their curriculum. Sometimes you'll get something to sign off on there. Sometimes, you know, if you're not careful, the kids will sign off on their own. You know, it happens here too. You know, this is a middle school. So I hear a lot of, uh, lot of stories <laughs> myself. So, you know, it can happen. So it's, it's very important for, to be engaged. And that's why I said, you know, a lot of parents don't even know, right, what's out there for me, you know, because, you know, parents, uh, especially if they come new in this country, they don't know what to do. They don't know how to, you know, how this system operates because this is, uh, day and night difference, you know, how it's in uh, Bangladesh or India or you know, somewhere else. So, with that, any other questions? Just a couple of you want to add something? Uh, yeah, go ahead. No, you go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Uh, I was saying um, thanks for the invite, invite today, um, especially Saibai, and, um, and thank you also for the event because um, I did went to Wednesday State and my sister just recently graduated in chemistry also. So, Whatever goal that you are going, um, it's really good and we appreciate that. And hopefully we'll make it. And I already vote and I ask everyone to vote. Um, so yeah. And without of um, without the, the the university, like overall the country, the party wise that things are going, um, I did actually vote Democrat last time. Uh, but some things that come by just went through, I really appreciate that. Very good points, um, and I think, yeah, and this by also mentioned. Um, and the beauty of democracy, where I believe in USA, you have the freedom and independence, That's right. and you you have right to choice. It's really nice here, though. Okay. So I feel like we should not 
I, I mean, I respect other opinions too, who supporting the other other party as well. But I think we should go based on the issue and what do we think us. Um, couple big points like LGBTQ, this this brother just explained, right? I have six month daughter, um, you know, like so I have, a, I have a daughter in six months now. What I'm all, also start thinking that I might even not seeing my daughter to school in university. I might even go there, see her, right after she start understanding all this, I might see her in the mosque. There. Now private, we have mosque private schools, schools yes. that are yeah, right. more control. Right. This yeah. is why, I do, I do like to see her to school, right. but right. I don't have any choice, right? And it's because of the party of the politics, so very important, right? And the other things like tax, right? We we are saying the low like low wages are spent I mean giving like huge amount of tax, the billionaires are not doing it, the big com companies are not doing it. That's also matter because I work in General Motors and he's Shagodo is also what we work work together. And now we are spending a time in a company. Every day morning when we wake up, we have a fear that am I gonna stay in the world tonight? Oh That's how it is. We have, we have, we have, they are laying like right and left. You know, that people even don't even know they have the job, the time they're scanning their badge and all that. They are already gone. That's what is happening right now. But either, I mean, most of us are still surviving. So it does affect us, right? And it's why it's because of the politics of the party. That way we're handling the country, right? We're right, sending right, right. our money to our side of the country. We're sending our job to Mexico, this and that. When the other party was especially strong, it wasn't like that. We were in the very peace. Job was demand was so high because of all the other, like, the international laws and policy, job, everything. So it does make a right, and the, and the abortion also, abortion, I believe, you know, I'm a Muslim, I believe. Me too. So all this stuff, I believe, for those points, I really wish that our community also would consider all this, and not like a determined, okay, I, I support this and I have to go this, no. I was a Democrat, I voted for it, but this time I have to go to Democrat, because they're, they're, doing, they're doing things that I'm not doing. I with, right? And that's the beauty of democracy, and I, I really wish that others also search, and believe and see what is good for us. And they also are saying, like, against the Muslim, like the Republic, against the Muslim. I don't think also, because Trump ran four years, right? Uh, right before um, whatever Biden comes. What happened? Does anything happen in the Muslim? Uh, I mean, uh, six, seven countries will stop it, but there's a reason for it, right? He didn't stop, like, the whole Muslim countries, or they don't kill people like Burma or China, or like they're empty, nothing. And I mean, even Democrat win or Republic win, they are whatever the Congress, right, and the Senate are is kind of. I mean, it's not like other countries, right? It's just like power. It's the both parties. Something you want to do, it, you can do it. It's not like here. So this thing also we should consider. And I mean, for the peace wise, we are so peace when it was a world like Gaza situation and the other situation. So these are all the stuff that I was keep thinking, and may and I changed my mind. That, I should vote for them this time. Let's see what they do, right? I don't have to be with them the rest of my life. Maybe we can change it again, right? And they are really for, for me and for my community, too. So I thank you again, Kamalbhai, for the invite. Um, and thank you, too. Can, can I add something, actually? Yeah, I, I, uh, last uh, 14 months, I started my campaign 14 months ago. That's the longest, actually. Any candidate, you look at it, 14 months, I, I, I've been traveling in the state, three times crisscross the state, so I met so many people. It's actually, when you're talking right now, the issues, it's like I'm looking in the mirror. Most of the issues are the concerns of the people across the state, not just you. Um, anybody, same way, when you look at the, the school situation, the kids situation, the economy, and uh, you missed one thing was open borders. Right, I'll exactly. tell you, My I'll God. tell you. O open borders, illegal immigration is affecting illegal immigrants like us. Okay. Um, recently, they, they implemented, if you apply uh, H-1 visa or anything, you have to pay $600 that goes towards the illegal immigrants. Yeah, and I, I heard also uh, in New York, um, they are um, providing a gift card or something about like some $1,000 for I illegal immigrants. Yeah, yeah. And the same five-star Yeah, five stars yeah, five stars the stars are not very stars. happy because they're getting from their tax money. Right. I look for a right. discounted hotel. So, yeah. so <laughs> I, I was talking to I was talking to some of the guys like the, the some of the people who applied for a green card and waiting. 
they got so frustrated because it's a 50 years today, if they look at it, some of them from India, they, it takes 50 years to get a green card. I said, you know what? People are saying, I should go to Mexico and just walk in so I get everything. I mean, that's the feeling um, people are getting it. And it's so sad that the illegal immigration affecting all of us. So yeah, we, we also have to be, we also have to be clear that we are not against the immigration. No, I think not all, of, I, I, I all think, of us are immigrants. I think what is one of the big points that bring now that he is against the immigrants. But he is never against with the legal immigrants. That's and because we are also agree with this. We are also why I waited 16 years to come here. Exactly. Uh, when my uncle, he came in 96, so the student visa is a doctor, he would live in Georgia right now. So he applied for my dad and I came with him. We went to our capital in Dhaka for the getting visa, maybe at least 30 times. Wow. And and we waited 16 years here, spent a lot of money here, he has to spend a lot of money here in the South right? And now they're coming and some of my friends, family, they're citizen here, they can't bring their wife or spouse years and years. And they're paying the taxes here and they have to wait because of this 10 million or whatever, probably billion, I believe it's 10 million, maybe two less right now with this, whatever, how they're coming. So these are stuff that Trump had to say, and I, 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 I wish and hope that everyone will understand that and not misleading the stuff. And that's what I also agree with too. That's because a lot of people don't know the immigration policy. They think it's immigration stopping me. That's, that's yeah, yes, I, 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 uh, Thank you everyone for coming. Yeah, and I want to thank everyone for coming here and attend today. But and also I wanted to ask you that uh, the tax differentiation that you mentioned, I mean, do you have a video of it or anything? I mean, or do you think of coming to Facebook and explain this? Maybe um, you still I, have 16 I, days that may I make a difference. Yeah. And if you can yeah. share it on your page, we can spread it in. I'll probably do it. Um, I seen, I seen the... Uh, Answer by shaking his hand. You almost change his thought of voting, so you can leave. <laughs> 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 so, that's that means, where I that means he's affecting idea. fifteen thousand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, the thing is, no. What he's what he's doing though. I, I think what I what I like about uh, Answer by he's, he's open to. You know, uh, like what's out there. Right. But he's not like okay because you know I'm I'm registered Democrat by the way. You know, like him. But my thing is, how does it affect me? You really want to help Bangladesh? You know, some people call me. It's, oh, you realize that the Indian government will be. I'm not no, see, I'm, I'm with you on you that. Know. If I had love for Bangladesh, I would not be here. <laughs> simple, simple is that. You, you, know? you put money in people's pocket because Bangladesh no, needs money. See, you know, Bangladesh, extra money just, there. My, my mention is just like you. You said, if I had love for Bangladesh, I would be in Bangladesh. So I don't do fake patriotism, you know. Because I mean, there is nothing inside of me for Bangladesh. Yes, I, whatever I do have the selfishness because I want the government to be good. I don't want any international interference because my dad has properties and I don't want to lose it. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't care how Bangladesh runs because unless the public changes, nothing will change because our public are the same thing. They are puppets and they will be. Because whoever comes, they will just go follow them blindly. So that doesn't matter anything here. So for me, that's different. Because if I had love, I would be in Bangladesh. And so many people can talk against just for you the United country. States, but they don't leave United States to go, go live in another country that supports Muslim. But you know, you complain that United States doesn't support Muslim, but you're still here. You know, so it doesn't make sense to me. This is a good, good point. Uh, we have to be American first. Yeah. That's, that's you know, why I'm here. When we took, took an oath, yeah. we're American, right? Yes. So we look at... Look at I mean, yeah, I I'm not saying give up Bangladesh or something, yeah. you know, but Bangladesh. here, this is Just us. Just because somebody yeah. hires a, a yeah. lobbyist for $200,000, this would mean that yeah. if he, if he gets yeah. elected, yeah. 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 listens to him and throw a, a go overthrow a government. It's not going to happen. People who think like that, they, they have some sort of uh, mental issues. But, uh, any other comments? Uh, if not, I know we are running late. I, I really thank you for staying with us. Have some dinner. And uh, uh, some dinner yeah, some dinner. So please go and help yourself. Sure. Uh, it's probably getting cold now, so uh, please <laughs> stick around, and then you know we can still socialize. But I really want to see us, you know, the young people, you know, by influential people, you know, get the conversation going.
you know, not just this election, but beyond this. The group picture? I know I just heard about you. Six and four zero two. My program is six five nine two. Yeah, because uh, uh, they say quick set because oh, we try to. I think you came. You, you came before uh, talk to me or come on. Try He's like a swing stick. Now, <laughs> yeah, this, this is the one more. Oh, thank you. One more, okay. One more. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.